Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Boomi World. Hope everyone is doing great. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please go and check it out now. So in this video, I am going to discuss about what is map functions and how to configure map functions and types of map functions on Boomi. So first we'll see what is map functions. Map functions allows transformatic logic to be applied to individual field values as they are being mapped. So in Boomi, map functions are classified into two types, standard map functions and user defined map functions. What is standard map functions? Standard map function performs a single step operation such as converting a value to uppercase or performing a mathematical operations. And what is user defined map functions? User defined map functions performs multiple transformations by allowing to link multiple standard map functions step by step in a defined sequential order. Which means, suppose you are getting two values, first name and then last name from the source system. And in target profile, you have field called name employee name or contact name whatever it may be name so target system asks you to populate that name from both fields first name and then last name so the logic mapping logic will be uh, you can take first name last name and then you can combine both names with delimiter hyphen so in that case you can use standard map functions to concatenate both first name and then last name with delimiter hyphen suppose for the same scenario target system asks you to populate name from two fields like first concatenate both names with the delimiter hyphen and after that you need to convert that string into uppercase or lowercase so here for single field they ask to perform two steps so first you need to perform concatenation after that you need to convert into uppercase or lowercase so in that case you need to use user defined map functions to perform two actions two steps so first step you need to take one standard map functions and second one uppercase to lowercase conversions so you need to configure two standard map functions step by step to achieve the client requirement so this is the user defined map functions so we'll see in boomi how to configure or how to set this map functions so this is our boomi platform i have already created this process if you haven't watched please go and check it out and in last video we discussed about map shape right so i'm just opening same map shape here we perform direct mappings from source system to target systems right so now we'll discuss map functions so for time being i'm just removing all mappings okay so here we need to add map functions for each field based on your requirement if anyone asks you to apply logic so here you need to add those logic so except this user define all come to standard map functions so we can discuss one by one now first we have connector so connector call by using connector call map functions we can connect third party application and then we can get values by giving any one of the source system value as a input okay so i'll just show you how to configure this connector call map function on boomi so here you need to choose connector so to which third party applications you are going to connect so suppose target system ask you to connect to the salesforce system that time you need to choose salesforce so here you need to choose salesforce connection and after that action whether it will be a get action or send action okay suppose your target system ask you to connect salesforce system and then get some data get some employee details data so that time you need to choose action as get after that you need to choose operation operation is nothing but which profile or which data you are going to getting from the salesforce system so we can discuss this connectivity things how to configure connection how to configure operations we can discuss in coming videos so for simply i'm just showing how to add this connector call map functions on map shape now okay suppose you are getting some employee details here okay so after configuring the operation you will get one profile right from that profile you can choose input and then output value so 
by giving the id value which is coming from the source system uh, if target system ask you to populate status value by giving the id value you can populate status value to any one of the field that time you need to choose id as the input and status as the output field so after that you need to map this id value to this id value and this output to this output here okay so currently i didn't configure this connection and operation so that's why i couldn't able to add uh, input and then output fields here so this is the connector call map function after that we have custom scripting so custom scripting uh, we have uh, two options we can choose two options groovy script or javascript so based on your experience or your knowledge you can choose this this one javascript or groovy script so i'm just choosing the javascript so and your as per your requirement target system ask you to populate all values if id value is not equal to null okay so in that case that scripting you need to configure here if id value is not equal to null in that case we need to populate all fields here id equal to employee id which is coming from the source system and then number equal to uh, phone number which is coming from the source system and then id mail id equal to id okay so whatever you configured here on left side those are the output fields so i'm just copying that id value and then adding in the output fields and then number as well mail id as well okay so whatever the field you configured here on right side those are the inputs which is coming from the source system so i'm copying that value and then pasting it here on phone number as well copy paste and then id same value id so the naming convention should be same okay and if you want to pass any default value suppose if there is no value coming from the source system at that time if target system ask you to pass any default value you need to configure those default values here otherwise you can leave as it is so employee id so you need to map this id to employee id phone number to phone number and then mail id to mail id and then this employee id to id and then phone number to phone number and then mail id to mail id and employee name to employee name so this is how you need to map so this is the scripting part after that we have date map function under date you can find date format and then get current date if you choose get current date it will populate system current date and time so if target system ask you to populate current date to the any one of the field you can add that current date map function here and then you can map to that particular field okay so after that under date only we have date format okay suppose from source system you are getting one date format for one field and target system ask you to convert the date format into another date format in that time you need to choose this date format and you need to choose input mask and then output mask so input mask should be however you are getting mask from the source system suppose you are getting date in this format you can choose that one suppose you are getting date format in some other format apart from this format you can choose this enter button and then you can enter the date mask here however you are getting from the source system okay and similarly output mask however target system ask you to populate date mask that date format you need to choose here suppose from source system you are getting this format and target system ask you to populate date in this format you can choose that one and then click ok so this is how date format map function and you need to map source system to target system ok so currently i don't have date related fields on source and target system if you have any date related fields you can map that field to date string and then result to target field so this is how you need to perform mappings okay 
and after that we have language so if you want to convert any language into japanese character conversion you can choose that one convert from any language to which language which japanese language you want to convert so based on your requirement you can choose that one okay so after that we have lookup so under lookup you can find sql lookup cross reference lookup document cache lookup and then simple lookup so what is sql lookup so by using this sql map function we can connect any database and then we can pass one value as a input and we can get another uh, column value as a output so simply i'll show you how to configure this sql lookup okay uh, so here you need to choose database connection after that you need to choose sql query whether it is a standard sql query or store procedure if it is a standard you can choose standard otherwise you can choose store procedure okay so after that which sql statement you are going to execute select star from this table or select employee name employee id employee from this employee table so whatever sql statement you want to execute that one you can configure here and after that you need to provide input values and output values by giving any one of the value as a input you will get output value here so after that after clicking on ok you need to map input value and then you need to map this output fields to the target output field after that we have cross reference lookup actually this is one of the topic i'll explain this cross reference lookup in coming videos and we have already discussed document cache right document cache components the same way document cache component so if you create a document cache somewhere uh, you need to choose the document cache here after that you need to choose that index value and from that document cache which value you want to pass to the target field that field you need to select on output so after that we have simple lookup uh, here you need to add one key and then value pair suppose you have key as us as key and then currency uh, currency dollar and another country uk and this the uk currency will be pound and india rupee suppose target system asks you so you are getting some country from the address field right so based on that country you need to pass currency value so like that you have one requirement so in that case you need to add simple lookup so the key value will be country codes and then value will be currencies okay uh, so first you need to create this simple lookup and after that clicking on okay so this key lookup so address you need to pass this address value and you need to pass here suppose if you get us as address boomi will send you dollar to the target system if you are getting address as uk boomi will send pound to the output this is how simple lookup will work so after that we have numeric properties string and then user defined functions uh, so in coming videos we can discuss remaining map functions okay that's it about today's video if you have any doubts please let me know in comment section if you like my video please like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and please don't forget to click the bell icon so that you will get all notifications whenever i post the video thank you all see you in my next video until then bye bye